What's up, King? Snappy food all up on your screen, and today is a that nap life video coming at y'all with the question of dealing with tangles when you are doing a wash and go and you are dealing with shrinkage. I wear my wash and go shrunken. Is that the word? I never stretch it, and I've also realized these last few times I've done this wash and go, I haven't been dealing with tangles either. Well, not as much as before, but I want to talk about it. The reasons why you probably do have a lot of tangles when your hair is shrunken in a wash and go or just shrunken period. Shrinkage doesn't always have to equal tangles. So here are five reasons why you might be dealing with tangles. Y'all ready? Now before checking in, let go. Colossians chapter three, verse 12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Mm. Note it. Amen. Welcome back, y'all. I appreciate you being all up on my screen, or better yet, letting me be all up on the screen. E -e 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 -e. Coming. Okay, wow, well, I was gonna sing, sing, sing. Welcome back, Team Kinks, to another wonderful video. Thanks for letting me be back on your screen again. If this is your first time seeing my mocha chocolate face on your screen, well, hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Hope you like today's content. Enough for you to join Team Kinks. Hit the bell, or well, subscribe and hit the bell, so you know the next time I'm back on your screen again. All right, I wanted to address a question or two that I got on TikTok. I made this video, I had posted this video on TikTok. And a lot of y'all don't like shrinkage, but I actually really like shrinkage. I like it a lot. I As you can see, I completely embrace it. And from that video, I got a few comments and some DMs asking me, but how do you deal with the tangles? And that's when I realized, you know what? These last few wash and goes I've been doing, my hair has not been tangled. Not how it used to be which led me to not want to do wash and goes anymore, okay? And I want to talk about why I think, my theory, okay? None of, I have not thoroughly researched any of these theories, but it just sounds really right to me, okay? Um, as to why I think you might still be dealing with tangles and that's why you might not like to have your hair in the shrinkage mode. Me, I actually like my shrinkage. I think it's so cute. I think it's so cool. I, I just... I just like it, it likes me. Now, this wash and go is going on almost two weeks. And what I did was not do the things I normally do that keeps tangles away. I let my wash and go do what most people probably do. I think, that's why I said probably, okay? In no particular order, the first reason I think our hair tangles when in shrinkage mode is unhealthy ends. If your ends are not trimmed, madame, are you listening? That means it's withered. It's unhealthy and that actually leads to tangles. And I learned this the hard way. Now, as many videos as I have talking about healthy hair and everything, and I do believe everything I say, sometimes I don't practice it. I was not that good with trimming my hair. I was not on point with it. And I've come to realize the importance of keeping up with the trim actually does give you healthier hair, okay? It's just, I don't like the snip snip. I ain't gonna lie, I don't like it, but I'm gonna do it. And I do it because I know Contour needs it and she likes it. So therefore, I'm just taking one for the team. You know what I'm saying? But yes, I think the first thing you wanna look at is your ends. When was the last time you trimmed it? Do you have a lot of string, single strand knots that when you slide your finger down your hair, you feel like these little bumpy, these little small little bumps? Those are single strand knots. And when you have a lot of them, and now they congregate together, that's gonna to lead to more tangles that you will have to deal with. The second reason I think you probably have a lot of wash and go tangles is when your wash and go starts to dehydrate, when it's no longer hydrated nor moisturized. This is my theory about that. When your hair starts to dry out, there's no more moisture, no more hydration, no more emollients or something slippery allowing the strands to be sliding past each other. Right? Because as we move, as we put our socking cap, as we put our cap on, we lay down, we sleep, our hair is moving against each other. My theory is that since there's no moisture, there's no everything, it's just dry like a Sahara desert that is no longer moving past each other, which makes it stick together, it makes it intertwine more than normal, which now leads to all these tangles. That's my theory. Okay, because I'm saying that because I in this wash and go, I let it dry out. I didn't reset it, I didn't do anything. And as it starts to dry out more, 
it started to get more tangles. Yes, I'm telling y'all, this, well, this is my experience and some of y'all might have the same experience too. I didn't, when I say I didn't reset it, all I, all the only amount of water I will let it hit is when I'm in this shower. Other than that, I didn't add no more cream. I didn't add no more gel. I didn't do nothing. I just went from day to day. And I started noticing as it dried out, it started to lose form. It started to lose fluidity to it. Well, it never had that much fluidity anyway, because you know, my hair is kinky, okay? But it just started to lose the form. It started off with the first few days of the wash and go. And then as it dried out, I started noticing that it, it felt dry because you know, it, it's drying out. And the tangle started to come. I could no longer go like that and it doesn't tangle. I could no longer do one finger and I don't find a tangle. I started to have more tangle in areas. And that's when I realized this might be one of the reasons why my hair with wash and go used to tangle quite a bit. Once it starts to dry out, they like, well, you, you clearly don't care about me no more, so I'm not gonna care about you either. Come on, tangles, let's ruin her hair. That's what I think. So you have the unhealthy, withered, untrained ends, drying out wash and go. When your hair starts to dry out, it's no longer sliding past each other. They're gonna <laughs> intertwine, congregate, make a big old ball of knot just for you to deal with, okay? So another reason I think tangles is all up on your hair when it's in shrunken mode is, well, with the wash and go, maybe product. I have a video, if it's not already posted, y'all gonna see it, where this wash and go right here was done with just gel. Only gel, the Uncle Funky starter gel, and I use Camille Rose aloe butter. Those are the only two things I use. And I have to say, my hair, one, it stayed, it stayed hydrated and moisturized longer. Two, the product allowed my hair to have a lot more slip, which, which meant what? My hair stayed sliding past each other. There was not a congregating or tangles party going on because the moisture stayed longer. Now, when I've done my wash and go with just using mousse, the dough, which I love, I still love it, and then a regular leave-in conditioner, my hair didn't stay moisturized and hydrated longer. So it could be product too. If you have a product that actually hydrates your hair and, and keeps it moisturized longer, the less tangles you might experience, my theory. Now, another reason you might be dealing with tangles is if you're going to bed without that satin scarf or cap. I did that, <laughs> I've done that. And that's when my hair started to dry out more actually. Even though I think to myself, could satin really, does it really help your hair like that? Yeah, it does y'all, it does. Well, based on my experience, because when I go to bed, when I go to bed without the satin cap, without the satin nothing, my hair feels drier the next day. Because why? The regular cotton fabric on my pillowcase has soaked out whatever moisture hydration I had. So it could be the way you are sleeping. You sleep without your scarf, without a satin pillowcase, or without a satin scarf or a satin cap. That could be why. So make sure you have that satin cap and that satin scarf on deck at all times, okay? Here go my cap. Y'all remember this from the Ethnic Girls review that I did. I still use her cap. And here goes my scarf, okay? I try to remember. And what happens sometimes is, you know how you kind of go through your night routine? And then you lay down and you're like, oh, dang, my cap. But you're already in bed. So it's kind of like, how dare I get out the bed right now? Get out, okay? Get out, go get it, lay back down. Your hair would thank you. Another reason still deals with application. What I've come to learn is when I'm applying my product, whether it be a mousse or my gel, you have to go from the root all the way down to the end. When I don't do that, I get tangles quicker than I want to. So when I go from root all the way down to the ends, and I really work that sucker in, one, my hair soaks it in more and my hair stays hydrated longer and moisturized longer. I don't deal with the tangles as I would if I didn't do a thorough application. So keep that in mind. When you're applying product, don't just do it all over. Throw some sections in there and work in sections, okay? It makes a lot of difference. Trust me. Trust me, I don't want you fighting out the hard way because if y'all remember my very first ever wash and go video, I almost cried. In fact, I did cry, I just didn't cry on camera. But I had a lot of tangles and it was, everything I'm talking about today is what I did or I didn't do. And that's why it was a disaster. But I have learned and now I'm sharing with y'all. So, first reason we had was what? Your ends are not trimmed. You, you, might need, you might be overdue for a trim. If you're dealing with a lot of single strand knots, a lot of split ends, you're gonna need to go ahead and holler at that scissors and get a little snip snip, okay? I also wanna throw a little bullet point to that. Some of y'all might benefit from not only getting your hair trimmed, but also getting it shaped. That's what I did. I got my hair shaped, as you can see, and it's made a world of difference because my hair is shaped like this, it fully, it has fully made me fall back in love with wash and goes. Second reason is when your hair is drying out, it's no longer having that slip, that moisture, that the hydration it needs. My theory is that since it's dry, it's not sliding past each other because it doesn't have nothing to slip, slide past each other. 
friction catches it, they tie in, they become entangled, giving you a big old knot to deal with, okay? So keep that hair moisturized, keep it hydrated. When you notice your wash and go is drying out, I suggest you go through a co-wash, another wash day, or do a complete water rinsing, soaking water rinse. Apply a little more product and call it a day. And the third reason we said was the product usage, whether you use a gel versus a mousse, Sometimes these products can have things, drying agents in it that will cause your hair to dry out quicker than it needs to, which means that tangles will come in. So keep that in mind. And then we talked about going to bed without your bonnet, without the satin cap. Don't do that. Even if you're not washing going, let's, let us both make a promise to ourselves, okay? To not do that, okay? And then the last reason we talked about was application. When you're applying your product, go from root to end makes a lot of difference. I have some bonus reasons. Y'all ready for it? Here we go. Another reason, could it also be that you're not thoroughly detangling your hair prior to washing and going? When I am in the shower, when I'm doing my wash and go, when I know I'm gonna do a wash and go that day, I thoroughly detangle. Yes, y'all, a thorough detangling. Now, I am not against using your fingers. I'm really not, but I feel like when you're gonna do a wash and go style, when you're gonna do a twist style or anything, you're gonna need to be a bit defined. You might wanna get a little, bit, a little bit more deeper than just your fingers. You might wanna bring out that comb, that wide tooth comb, and the paddle brush. That is what I use on my wash days, especially on wash and go days. A thorough detangling makes a lot of difference, okay? And eliminates, or better yet, minimizes your chance of having a lot of tangles. And one more theory I have. Could it also be that maybe when you are doing your wash day, your shampoo, conditioner, maybe it's not thoroughly rinsed off? That could be another thought, right? If you're not thoroughly rinsing off, those products are heavy. And the last theory, the last thought, the last possible reason could be product buildup. Maybe the products you use, maybe you didn't fully rinse out your shampoo, fully rinse out your conditioner. Now you're adding gels and mousse and leave-in conditioner and all this other stuff on top of the product, bringing you to product buildup sooner than you need to. And that can also cause some tangles too. So lots of reasons why, but the top reasons I really feel leads to, and just based on my experience is when my hair is not trimmed, it's not thoroughly trimmed, too many single strand knots, too, my withered ends are just withering, okay? All the way with that. I think that definitely leads to the tangles. On top of that, my hair drying out. My hair drying out, no more hydration, no more moisture. Contour is like, why should I keep working if you're not working with me? So tangles come through. You feel me? That's what I really think. I think those are the top two reasons. The satin cap, everything else I feel does play a role, but those two I feel like plays the biggest role. Oh! and not thoroughly detangling your hair. So if you're already starting off with tangles being left behind, now more tangles on top of that, girl, girl, girl. Better save your frustration. Make sure your ends are well trimmed. Make sure you are keeping that hair hydrated and moisturized. And make sure you are detangling. Bling, 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 bling. Okay, did that help y'all? As I sit here in my, in, my, uh, in my row, if you have tangles when you're doing a wash and go, I'm just gonna kinda show you what I do when I know my hair is tangled. So I can't, I have to be one, you have to be a lot more gentle. And then this is what I do to get my hair prepared for a wash and go when it is tangled. First thing I already did, y'all already know, pre-poo. So I have my coconut oil, boom, as you can see, I apply this on my hair the night before and let it sit overnight, giving some slip back into my hair because you know it's oil. So you have that slip, that slip it, slip back into it, which is very much needed. And then after that, I will just part my hair. I normally would go for four sections, maybe six. It just kind of depends what's going on. And then after that, I am applying my product. Today I'm using the Air Verdict product. I'm using Omla Mask. As y'all know, I am getting way back into my Air Verdict methods because I'm trying to restore contour from the damage it had from the Fulani braids that I got um, last year, November. If y'all haven't seen my video on the damage I got from the Fulani braids, make sure you check that sucker out so you know what I'm talking about, okay? All right, and as I'm parting my hair, I am taking my time making sure I don't just rip through the tangles that I have. Four seconds, if I've noticed a tangle that I need to work through, I just take my time, I work through it, and then I'm sliding my hair down. Working in sections in this situation, especially if you have thick force of hair. And as y'all can see, then I just kind of pull it out. Now, I know for some people, they will just slather their hair with a lot of conditioner. That actually doesn't work for me. So I have my four seconds. 
section, boom, boom, boom. Remember, my hair has coconut oil all up in it, okay? So the coconut oil is enough for me to work some of these tangles out. I'm not doing a deep detangling, of course not, right? But I'm doing enough to get the tangles that I can easily see. I can easily get to. So I will untwist and then I'm just kind of using my thumbs to work through here. Any shed hairs I'm gonna grab and when I come across a single strand tangled or whatever, oh, see there you go, they're going right there. I stop and I'm working it out. I'm gonna work that sucker out, okay? All right, now we're gonna go back into it. As I'm doing this, you're gonna also see me apply my Amla mask. So don't be alarmed when you see some muddy, brown, dookie looking thing, okay? It's Amla. And if you don't know about the Amla, check my videos out, cause I done talked about it. in these streets okay we don't waste no product let me give a little bit extra love to my problem areas that'd be the edges okay let me not say problem areas so my healing areas okay y'all not a problem y'all are healing y'all are healing from trauma all right boom 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 and then i'm going to just work this in so mind you i pretty much have amla powder on my hair and coconut oil and i'm just gonna mix this in now previous videos i told y'all that with my amla mask i started using um coconut oil to mix it today i just use warm water to mix it and a little bit of mustard oil inside of there. And this is what I pretty much would do. Now, whenever my hair is tangled, I don't always have the, uh, I'm not always doing a mask, but I do start with detangling with my fingers first and just the coconut oil in my hair. After I'm fingers finish detangling to my satisfaction, I guess you can say. Then after that, I will um, just hop in the shower and do my wash day routine. That's pretty much what I do to get those tangles to not be worse. Cause the last thing I wanna do is just go straight into the water without finger detangling. That's the last thing I wanna do. I guess I'll say that's the last thing I wanna do again. Without getting the tangles out and the shed hair out that I could, the water made it worse. It made my hair tangle up even more. It just, it made it harder for me basically. So that's why I don't start off with water. I know some of y'all like, she's not gonna wet her, wet her hair first. I'm not. And that's why I don't also use a conditioner because conditioner's first ingredient is water. I just start with oil and that's fine. I, jet, I work with my fingers, get out what I can, hop in the shower, let my shampooing and my deep conditioner do the rest. Okay, so y'all got a little bonus today because I wasn't planning to do all of this, but I'm glad I did. And uh, I'm glad we talked about this today. As long as I avoid the things I talked about today, I haven't really been dealing with a lot of tangles. For me, the top two, like I said, because some reason I like to repeat myself a lot, I don't know why. But making sure my ends are healthy as far as trimming, it's not withered, not a lot, not a lot of split ends not a lot of single strand knots. If I get a few, it's just, it is what it is. But when it's a lot, then I know I need to go and holler at the snip snip, holler at the scissors, okay? Um, and then making sure my wash and go does not dry out. As long as my wash and go does not dry out, I'm not dealing with tangles, y'all. So like I said, when, they, when I feel it's drying out, I'm doing a complete water rinse. That's probably the first thing I do before I do another co-washing or shampoo day. I usually just soak my hair in, in water completely. So water rinsing, water washing, if you want to call it that, but it's really rinsing because water don't wash anything. You know, it's not cleansing nothing. So I water rinse it, get it soaking wet 
basically getting my um, maximum hydration gauge a little bit higher. It might not get to maximum, why? Because I'm not washing my hair. But it'll get a little bit higher than it was before, okay? Then after I water rinse, I apply my products again, and then that's it. I'm not dealing with the tangles, okay? Um, or I just go into a co-washing mode or a full day wash day. All right, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna let this sit, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you wanna know how I rinse this out, how I do wash day when I am doing my omelet mask, boom, watch this video here uh, or the playlist of my Ayurvedic methods and you will enjoy, okay? Thank y'all for hanging out. And before we go, yes, y'all already know the deal. I love to know what you think. So let's get in today's Snapchat question. Do you embrace your shrinkage? If so, let us know why you love it, why you like it, why you are friends with it. And if you don't embrace your shrinkage at all, you like me and shrinkage are not going to ever be cool. Let us know in the comment box below. Trust me, your response would definitely help another natural out. Bonus question. If you do wash and goes and you don't deal with that many tangles, give us your tips and tricks in the comment box below. Trust me, you are helping us Team Kings members out. Okay? Thanks in advance. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. I'm going to let this sit, do some stuff around the house. So until next time, remember my sister, my cousin, my friends, Tim Kinks. I said, ooh, hold on. <laughs> Tim Kinks, remember, in order to have a healthy mind, body, soul, everything, you've got to do healthy things. I have a food checking out. This is can I just speak to those who have given up on washing goals completely because it tangles a lot? Now, if you don't like washing goals because you think it takes too much time, too much energy, that's different. But if you're giving up on washing goals because you always experience tangles, I hope today's video helped you. Especially number one and two, that trimming and shaping of your hair has been a game changer for me, y'all. Game changer! And then making sure my hair don't dehydrate, game changer for the wash and go. I'm just saying. I'm telling you, I'm really truly believing you might change your mind and you might experience less tangles. I'm just saying. I'm just saying.